diminish radius complement in a decimal number system the base is 10 so the r minus 1's complement is referred as 9's complement in a binary number system the base is 2 the r minus 1's complement is referred as 1's complement in octal number system the base is 8 and r minus 1's complement is referred as 7's complement in hexadecimal number system the base is 16 so the r minus 1's complement is referred as 15's complement diminished radius complement is also called the r minus 1's complement so now we are going to learn the formulas to find the r minus 1 complement of the numbers in different number system so this is the first formula so here the formula is to find the r minus 1 complement of a number n is r to the power of n minus r to the power of minus m minus n so here if the number n has both the integer and fraction part then we use this formula so here n is the given number and the number should have both the integer and the fraction part so r is the base r is the base of the number or the radix and n is the number of digits in the integer part of the number and m is the number of digits in the fraction part of the number so if the number has both the integer and fraction part we use this the next one is if the number has only the integer part there is no fraction part and only the integer part is present then we use this formula this formula is derived from the first formula let's see how this formula is derived so since this formula uh, does, since this formula is used if the number does not have the fraction part so here in this number if since there is no fraction part means the number of digits in the fraction part you should make it as 0 so here r to the power of 0 so r to the power of 0 is 1 so it will be r to the power of 0 if there is no uh, numbers in the fraction part so this r to the power of 0 uh, will be 1 next the third formula this formula is used when there is only fraction part there is no integer part there is only fraction part is available in the number so that time so here what happened this also derived from the main formula this one so here what happened since there is no integer part the number of digits in the integer part of the number becomes 0 so r to the power of 0 so when r to the power of 0 is 1 so 1 minus r to the power of minus m minus n so this is the formula if there is no integer part only fraction part is available so the main formula is this so from this formula only we are getting the other two sub formulas so if you remember this you can do proceed with uh, finding the r minus 1 complement problem 1 find the 9's complement of the decimal number 546700 so the base is 10 and the given number n is 546700 and the number of digits in this number is 6 the number has only the integer part so the formula to find the r minus 1's complement of the number is r power n minus 1 minus n so the 9's complement of the number is you can substitute these values in this formula and you get this step when you solve uh, 10 power 6 minus 1 you get this and when you solve this you get this so next when you solve this step you get the answer 453299 so this is the 
answer and also there is a, a one easy way to easy and a quick way to uh, proceed with the problem that is from this step from this step you can come directly to this step you can omit this step and you can come directly to the to to this step so how you do this is here we want to find the nines complement of the number and the number of digits in this number is 6 so six digits are present in the number and we have to find the nines complement so we write we after this step we can directly write six nines six nines means six digits in the number and we are finding nines complement so we can directly write six nines and we can proceed with the problem so you get the answer directly so in so we can omit this step so your time will be not wasted so if you solve this step also you get this answer so you can directly jump from this step to this and you can follow as what i said problem 2 find the nines complement of 0.8642 base 10 so from this you get the base is 10 and n is 0.8642 and the m the number of digits in this in this number is 4 so here this number is uh, has only the fraction part there is no integer part only the fraction part is present and the number of digits in this number is 4 so the formula to find the r minus 1's complement of this uh, number is 1 minus r to the power of minus m minus n since it has only the fraction part we use this formula so the nines complement of this number is we, we have to substitute these values in this formula so you get this you get this step so when you solve this step when you solve 1 minus 10 to the power of minus 4 you get this step so when you solve this next step is this and again when you solve this you get the answer 0.1357 this is the nines complement of the number 0.8642 so here same like before as as i said from this step you can directly jump to this step so from here you can directly jump to this step you can omit this step so how will you do is so here you want to find the nines complement of this number so uh, the uh, number of digits in this uh, fraction part is four digits four digits are present so you write four nines so since it is a fraction part so you write point then you write four nines so you write point nine 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 so four nines after the decimal point you will write so so after this step you can directly come and write this step just you can over, uh, omit this step so you can do the problem very quickly so you can proceed and you will get the answer problem 3 find the nines complement of the decimal number 1056.074 so the base is 10 base is 10 and the number given is this one and the number of digits in the integer part is 4 and number of digit in the fraction part is 3 so this number has both the integer and the fraction part so the formula to find the r minus 1's complement of this number is so r power n minus r power minus m minus n so the nines complement of the number is obtained by substituting the these values in the formula so you get this step so when you solve uh, 10 to the power of 4 minus 10 to the power of minus 3 you get the you get this step so again when you solve this 
when you solve this step the next step is this again after solving this the answer is 8943.925 so this is the answer same like before you can omit this step and jump from here till directly here so how you do is so i i have written this step for you to understand but you can just jump from uh, jump from here till here so you can uh, save time and you can do the problem quickly so here how will you write is here the number of digits in the integer part is 4 and the number of digit in the fraction part is 3 and you need the nines complement so you write a uh, four nines in the integer part so four nines you write it in the integer part then point then three nines in the fraction part because the number of digit in the integer part is four and number of digit in the fraction part is three so you write this and then subtract with the given number so you get the answer problem 4 find the ones complement of the binary number 1011000 there are two methods to find the ones complement of the binary number so method 1 is so from the binary number given so we can find out that the base is 2 since it's a binary number and the number given number is this and the number of digits in this uh, binary number is 7 so the ones the r minus ones complement of the number is here this number the binary number given has only the uh, integer part so the formula is r to the power of n minus 1 minus n so the uh, ones complement of this uh, binary number is Uh, you can substitute this these values in this formula and you get you get this next you have to solve 2 power 7 minus 1 so this 2 power 7 minus 1 is in decimal format that is it is in base 10 format is in base 10 so uh, we are going to do for the binary number system so we have to uh, solve this 2 power 7 minus 1 and then you have to convert that number to a decimal uh, sorry to a, a binary number so uh, to avoid this uh, uh, this uh, process to avoid this uh, calculation there is a easy way that you can go directly from this step to the next step without solving this and uh, find and convert and doing any conversion so for that uh, here you have to find the ones complement and the number of digits in this number is 7 so you will write as a next step seven ones you will write so the number of digits is 7 and you want ones complement so you will write seven ones here so from this step you can go directly to this step so without doing any calculations here and wasting your time so you can directly jump to this step and then when you uh, when you solve this you get the next step the answer so this is this is the ones complement of the binary number this method 2 this is the given number to find the ones complement of the number you have to first convert the ones present in this number to zeros and zeros present in this number to one so you can see the one is changed to zeros and the zeros are changed to ones and this method is only applicable to the 
binary numbers so only binary numbers can uh, you can use this method to find the ones complement problem 5 find the ones complement of the binary number 0.1011 method 1 so method 1 we use the formula to find the ones complement so from the binary number we can get the data that is the basis the basis 2 and the given number is this and the m is 4 that is the number of digits in the fraction part is 4 so this number does not have the integer part only fraction part is available so the r minus 1's complement of the number is the formula is 1 minus r to the power of minus m minus n so here to find the ones complement of the number we have to substitute these values in the formula so we get this step next we have to solve 1 minus 2 power minus 4 this uh, this 1 minus 2 power minus 4 is in decimal format is in decimal number system so we are now doing with the dealing with the binary number system so we have to convert this uh, number to a binary number so from decimal we have to convert it into a binary so when you do that you get this step so when you solve this part and convert it into a binary you get this but instead of doing the calculations here and we can directly write this answer by a small easy way that is we have we want to find the ones complement of this number so uh, the number in the fraction part has 4 bits so and we have to find the ones complement so after the decimal point we are putting four ones so this result we will get this result when we solve this uh, part but instead of solving and finding out we are directly finding the uh, answer that is by a easy way that is since it's ones complement we are writing and uh, it's a fra in the fraction part there are four uh, bits so we are writing four ones in the after the after this binary point then we are minus we are writing the n value so the next step is the answer so when you minus these two you get this as the answer so this is the ones complement of the binary number this one method 2 this is the given uh, number to find the ones complement of this number we have to just convert the ones to zeros and zeros to one so here i am converting the one to zero and the zero to one so one to zero and one to zero so this is the ones complement of the binary number this one problem 6 method 1 find the ones complement of the number of the binary number 1010.01 so this number has both the integer and the fraction part so the formula used to find the r minus 1's complement of the number is r power n minus r power minus m minus n so to find the one uh, ones complement of this uh, binary number we have to substitute these values in this formula so we get this step so instead of solving this step we can directly uh, write the answer for this uh, step so here so uh, it's a ones complement and the number of digits in the fraction Uh, sorry integer part is 4 so we can write four ones here then point then after uh, after the point it is two uh, it's uh, two bits are there so two 
once after the point so we will write for this the answer will be 1111.11 so you can see here so in the uh, integer part four ones because four bits are there and in the fraction part two bits are there so two ones so you can directly write this answer and subtract it with the uh, n value so you get the answer so this is the ones complement of the number this one method 2 here this is the given number so you want to convert to ones complement so the you have to just convert zeros to one and ones to zero see one is changed to zero and zero is changed to one problem 7 find the sevens complement of the octal number 407 the r minus ones complement of the number is found by the formula r power n minus 1 minus n so to find the sevens complement of the number 407 we have to substitute these values in the formula so we get this so next we have to solve this part 8 power 3 minus 1 so here 8 power 3 minus 1 this is in base 10 format in decimal format so you have to solve this and convert this into a octal number this is in decimal format so you have to convert this into a into a octal number so instead of uh, uh, doing all the steps we can directly write the answer so here we are finding the sevens complement of 407 so the number of uh, digits in this number is 3 so sevens complement so we write 3 7 as the answer for this so the next step is so we write 3 7 minus the number 407 the given number so the answer is 370 so this is the this is the ones complement of the octal number 407 problem 8 find the sevens complement of the number 217.275 it's a octal number and this number has both the integer and the fraction part so let's proceed the formula to find the Uh, r minus 1 complement for the number having the integer and the fraction part is r power n minus r power minus m minus n now let's substitute these values here to find the sevens complement of the number so you get this next instead of uh, solving this we can directly write the answer for this uh, so here the number of uh, bits in the integer part is 3 the number of bits in the fraction part is 3 so we write 777.777 so 37 in the integer part and 37 in the fraction part so we got this now minus it with the given number n so the answer is this so this is the ones complement of the octal number this problem 9 find the 15th complement of the hexadecimal number a 9 b so in this number there is only integer part is present so the formula to find the r minus ones complement of the number is r power n minus 1 minus n so now to find the 15th complement we have to substitute these values in this formula so we will get now this step next is we have to solve this step this is in base 10 so we have to convert this uh, into a hexadecimal number 
So uh, instead of doing these uh, steps, we can directly write the answer for this part. So here it's a 15th complement. So in hexadecimal number, 15 means F. And the number of digits present in this number is 3. So we will write F, 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 that is 3F as the answer for this number. So you got F, F, F minus A, 9B. A, 9B is the given number. So the now we have to subtract these two. So when you subtract these two, you have F, 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 then A, 9, B. So F represent 15 and B represent in hexadecimal 11. So 15 uh, minus 11 is 4. Then 15 minus 9 is 6 then 15 minus 10 a represent 10 so 15 minus 10 is 5 so 564 this is the this is the octal number this is the sorry this is the hexadecimal number and this is the uh, 15th complement this is the 15th complement of the number a 9b and this is the answer. Problem 10. Find the 15th complement of the hexadecimal number 83D.9F. The formula for the r minus 1's complement of the number is r power n minus r power minus m minus n. So this uh, hexadecimal number has both the integer and the fraction part. We can substitute these values in this formula and we get the step. Now we have to solve this step. So we will get the answer. So there is a shortcut method to, uh, to find the answer instead of uh, uh, wasting time to solve this. So we can uh, write the answer in a shortcut way. So here for 15's complement, it's a 15's complement, 15. So for 15 represent F. So the number of digits in the uh, integer part is 3 and number of digits in the fraction part is 2. So we can write uh, the, the answer for this one is we can write F, F, F that is 3F in the integer part dot 2F in the fraction part. So you get So here f f f point f f, then minus it with the uh, given number. So when we minus this, we get so minus eight three d point nine f. So minus. So f, f minus f is 0, then f minus 9, f is 15, so 15 minus 9 is 6, then point, then f is 15, 15 minus d, d is 13, uh, so you get 2, then f is 15, 15 minus 3 is 12. So the hexadecimal equivalent of 12 is c, so c then f is 15, 15, 15 minus uh, 8 is uh, 7. So, this is the answer.